says she's never seen the video of the assault. Go check this out. Is the body cam footage something that you've seen at this point? No. No, I don't even know if I'm going to see. Oh, more in the back, bro. Like, there's some lies. I'm going to see an assault on my husband's life. But I don't know. Thank you. And what's the latest update on this? It's just silly. But they're still making it as hard as possible for us to get the video. They know we're in New York, and they told us if we want the tape, we have to come in person to San Francisco. And they'll hand us a CD. Remember a CD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We remember a CD. Go ahead. This is the tech capital of the world, and they can't email it to us, but that's fine. A producer's already on the way. We'll be. Well, well, just you might not understand this. You ain't been in the criminal justice system or why they won't release it via email because they don't view that as secure. They want the boy, whoever goes and pick, picks that picks that up on CD. They're gonna be like, okay, sign your name and show ID, so that way they know who went and got that. Anyways. There first thing in the morning, West Coast time. The tape's going to give us a treasure trove of evidence. Oh, I hope so. A lot of questions, like who opened the door? The Department of Justice said police opened the door. How they do that? They're not allowed to just do that. Told NBC, Paulie P opened the door, and then NBC suspended their Emmy award-winning journalist who reported the story. They said it didn't meet their standards. Oh, I wonder why. We don't really know what those standards are. The tape will also tell us what happened after police arrived. What's your thing, Lou? The tape smashed Paul's head in with a hammer after police came in. So how'd that happen? They had to know this was the speaker's house. Paul yeah, that's that's the wildest shit. You going to just hit the motherfucker in the head with the hammer when the right in front of the police? Now, I done some shit almost close to that before, but not right in front of the police. They was coming, but not right in front of them motherfuckers. Uh uh. In San Francisco, he's royalty. They see him wrestling with a guy with a hammer and they don't tackle him? It doesn't make any sense. No, it definitely doesn't. And how did Capitol Police not spot the guy casing Pelosi's house? They have a live feed of the house being monitored by Capitol Hill Police. And a guy walks around the house and all black with a backpack and smashes his way into the property. And the alarm doesn't go off. The interview with DePape should also tell us what kind of lunatic we're dealing with. We know the guy's a drug addict who went schizo. He talked to squirrels, said he was friends with fairies, and worshipped a guy named Lazarus, Look at the who sells insurance in Michigan. He's an illegal alien from Canada who also had a slew of felony convictions like elderly abuse. He should have been deported, but California is a sanctuary state, so he stayed. Thank you, Gavin. The Pape's stepdaughter said he would sexually and physically abuse her and her sibling when they were very young. Total sicko. And locals said the Pape lived in a little yellow school bus parked in front of his ex's house, who's a nudist activist behind bars for trying to kidnap a 14-year-old boy. His ex says the Pape's a progressive and a big fan of Barack Obama. This is how the neighbors described him. Watch. They are just you know nudist drug abusers and that's who gravitates toward them what do you say the politics are um i'm not sure i would imagine that they're more left-leaning despite all of that <laughs> the to paint this guy is some far-right extremist this part will not shock you the alleged attacker posted conspiracy theories on facebook including links to multiple videos from the Trump ally and pillow salesman, Mike Lindell. David DePap was a fervent QAnon guy. The suspect who trafficked online in far-right conspiracy theories Super about COVID and the 2020 election and the Holocaust denialism. So, do you know any conservatives who live in a school bus, worship Lazarus, love Obama, talk to squirrels, and are friends with fairies? Me neither.